hello. What we're going to do is we're going to think about how we can use Kandinsky's artwork to create our own personal piece of art. So the inspiration we're going to take from Kandinsky are two things. One is the shapes that we saw an awful lot of. So this was one of our circle shapes. And another is the range of colours that I've got, okay? So we are looking at our primary and our secondary colours. So can you just take one second to tell me what are the three primary colours? Awesome, that is fantastic. You have got, so we have three. We've got blue, red, and yellow. So these are colours that we cannot mix to make them, okay? We have to have them. They're made from special chemicals and natural resources so that we can get those colours. So what do I get if I'm going to mix my red and my blue together? What colour do you think that's going to be? Wonderful. You know that and you're doing amazingly well to remember that. So what about red and yellow? What colour are we going to make for that one? Amazing. We're going to get orange for that. So I'm going to use these primary colours. I'm also going to start to use some other colours just to help me out and to make my drawing beautiful as I can, okay? So these ones are actually watercolour pencils, okay? It's fine if you don't have them at home. You can think about using normal crayons, felt tip pens, paints, watercolours, anything that you would like. This is a very flexible activity. So to start off, I'm gonna draw out my inspiration. So I'm gonna start with some little circles, okay? And I'm going to go around and draw in my rings around them. It's fine if they're not perfect. I'm going to draw two of them just here for now. Or oh, I might actually put a little one here just because. Okay. So I'm going to start off with my colours, okay? So these ones that I've got here, I'm going to put them into different categories. And we've done this before in lesson, okay? But I'm going to put these colours over here. And I think maybe these three colours over here. So these ones are, these make me feel quite warm and quite hot, okay? They look like fire. And then if we think about these colours, they're very cool and calm, okay? They're very contrasting, so they're super different. So we've got our warm and our cool colours. And I'm going to use those to my advantage today. So I'm going to start off on this one and I'm going to give it a nice yellow centre. But then for my next ring, I'm going to use my contrasting colours. So I'm going to go straight in for purple, okay? So you don't have to be neat at this point. That is fine if we're getting a little bit out of our lines. But, oh, or even that. <laughs> and I'm going to start to blend in different colours. So I'm going to use bit of blue to blend in with my purple. This is quite similar to Kandinsky's artwork because he was using multiple colours and they blended and merged together to make that final colour in his rings, okay? I'm also going to take a little bit of this because we know what colours make up our purple. So I've got my blue and my red in here. Okay, so putting these back. The next one I'm gonna do around here is, oh, this is one of my favorite colors. I'm gonna use this really nice pink. And it's up to you what colors you're gonna do, okay? This is just because I like the color. I think they're gonna work really nicely together. So that is why I've chosen it. So, I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow. I'll make it a really nice bright peachy colour just here and then I'm going to make sure that it blends in nicely together. Okay, making sure that I'm not leaving any of my white gaps, I'm concentrating as much as I possibly can, okay? This is what I want you to be doing. Add a little bit of purple. So I'll make it a little bit dark around there. And there we go. And it's fine. 
fine if you have decided to change the shape a little bit because I can use my rubber to take out the detail of my pencil. So, I'm gonna go back in with my pink. There we go, just to finish it off. So what I want you to do now is you use this as a base, a platform to then start your own personal drawing. So I'm going to think about what I can use my circles to inspire me to do. So I'm thinking I might do a flower garden. So if I wanted to, I could add lots of petals into my flower. And then I'm going to put in a stem, but I'm going to do a nice creative one. It's going to be wiggly. And my leaves are also going to be wiggly, okay? And then I might do this and keep repeating it so I've got a beautiful flower garden. You might want to make yours into a target practice. So I'm going to go and make this into my target practice. I've got a little bit of a floor now, so I've got my stand, and I'm gonna draw arrows as if they are moving in the air. So this is a little bit like a cartoon shape. And I'm gonna put little arrows and little bits of lines here, so it looks like it's moving. So. It's up to you what you're going to do and I want you to be as creative as possible to try and create that scene, okay? Personalise it, make it yours and make sure you have fun doing this. I'm just going to show you what the watercolour pencils do do. So what I've got is a range of different watercolour um, paintbrushes that I've got here. These are from sets that I've collected over the time. Um, little thin ones you might have your flat ends your rounded ends and um, so it's up to you which ones you've got because mine is really really small i'm going to choose a nice small paintbrush okay and remember in my water i only need a small amount so only about that much water because if i spill it over it's going to spread the least amount with the small amount okay so i'm going to add a little bit of my water in now and I'm gonna try and blend in these colors. So I'm using small amount of water to help me, okay? I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna get the color off my brush. I'm gonna start off with my yellow and then I'm gonna try and blend it out, okay? So that is the technique that I'm going to use and that's why I'm using the watercolour pencils but it's up to you what you're going to do. So what I want you to do is share with me all of your amazing ideas that you've come out and we're going to add it into the gallery. So I hope you have fun. If you have any messages just ask your parents to contact me and I want to see all of your beautiful creations at the end. Okay.
Um, do you know drawing for me year twos? Why there? Um, because the camera's on there and I can see my drawing. Otherwise it's at an angle and I can't get it on video. How's your day going? Yeah, fine. Spotify get on the TV. I got really confused today. I have no idea. Did you um you can connect it from your phone to there? I don't think I've ever done that. Because I couldn't figure out whether it was our TV or Tom.